everyone. Oh, hi, Penny. Penny's watching from another room. So she's not chatting, but she's watching. Uh, I hope. I, I think I saw also Karen. Uh, they were waiting uh, like 20 minutes before we went live. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, bless. I'm mm -hmm. sure that Karen is so early. Just to make sure that she will not miss out on anything. Absolutely. So we've had, um, <clears throat> thank you for joining me as well, Olga. Very kind of you. I know you've just done it alive yourself. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. And Christmas, uh, you know, this time of the year is the time that I, I'm craving to be creative with other people. It's quite busy. So for me, it's an opportunity to just make something for a change. Hey, Terry. How are you? Uh, one, Terry's been busy. <laughs> one second. I will just... I see her on the Stamperia really Live. She was very busy. Of course, Facebook is um, not my favourite thing on the web, again, because first it didn't want to share that we are live from your profile for some kind of reason. It claimed that we are not even friends on Facebook, so I cannot do it. <laughs> <laughs> what a beard. Will I see if I can share it? Uh, I did share it uh, already. Uh, I just need to edit the description. Oh, yes. Hi, Bella. Mm. With... Hi, Karen. Hi, Micah. Hi, Belinda. Okay, now it's done. Okay, no, I can done. look at the screen. Yay! Okay. So, I have my panel that I started like a month ago or so, and it didn't transform a lot <laughs> since then. It's still just a piece of paper on... um. Uh, on MDF, but I also have some cool toys mm. that I want to play with. There will be a lot of fussy cutting, um, so um, yeah, I will just move on. I see that you already have uh, prepared some uh, clay uh, casts. Oh my god, switching from Polish is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Never know, there might be Polish people here today. Who knows? Unless you count Belinda, because she can say like six sentences in Polish, six words, uh, and build up the sentence, then uh, uh, we don't know. Is it uh, chat? Yakshadash? <laughs> How's that? that? That's quite, quite. Quite okay. I'm happy that you didn't say the other one that you learned from Davi. I have to enhance that because he will claim that it was me. It wasn't me. <laughs> I hope it, it was nothing rude because I say it to his no. mum and his dad. Every time. <laughs> no, no, no. It was just hello. How are you? Okay, that's good. <laughs> Six words. Belin, that the last one. Uh, it already almost a sentence <laughs> according to Polish rules. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm planning to, to do something in Lady B lifestyle, not Christmas theme project for a change. And wow. yeah, that that will that will be a lot of fussy cutting and uh, I'm not sure if I'm mentally prepared for that, but oh well here we go. <laughs> yeah. The the full Lady Vagabond uh, collection is on the website. Hi, Katerina. I'm Please tell to... me you've received your artwork. That's, that was a very long time ago, and I know the last time we spoke, Katerina won one of my um, one of my items that I did. And I sent it out to her, and she's still well. The last time I spoke to her, she hadn't received it. So Where I do she's hope she's located. Greece. 
Mm. Ooh. So it shouldn't take that long. I know. I know. But you never know. You know, once Nuno sent me parcels from uh, Spain to Germany and somehow it got stamped from Canada. I didn't know that it's on the way. Really? You've got it? Yeah, I got it. And there was a stamp from Canada. And Katarina, I think, she says three days before. Yay! Okay. That was such a long so, time. I'm glad she's got it. Uh, to be quite useful, I sent the link to all Lady V products in my uh, <clears throat> The full, uh, yeah, the full collection is there. Today, I'm going to be playing with wax. I'm the candle so, kind. <laughs> I'm so there's no excited. beautify in here. <laughs> I've been playing with the molds today, and the best molds for wax or wax melts or whatever you want to call them is definitely the Artico. Um, what kind um, of mold is that? They are the soft cho chocolate type molds. Oh, so it's the silicon that have that tiny silicon coating. Mold. Yeah. Yeah. So they they they're a lot softer. Oh my god! I didn't took that cross, and now I'm like, okay, I don't you, look. You don't forgot look. you got it. No, I didn't took this one. I took the three crosses. There was, uh, um, yeah, uh, with the flowers. Anyway, these molds they work out quite well. So I did, I did manage to to get the crosses out in wax. Two yeah, of the crosses. Exactly. One of them is very delicate and and a lot like filigree, so it it, it didn't work as well. Um, so the smaller items came out. I found the little bullets. They came out. The little hearts. Although I don't have the little hearts on the website, I have ordered them and they are on their way. So my plan today, they do, yeah, is to use the Cadence candle waxes. Paint. <laughs> candle paint <laughs> or waxes. They are paint or work? Paint. Yeah. They're candle paints. So I've can, got... you can you show us the candle that you did yesterday with those paints? The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Free one. Yeah, because it looks bad. So it started that colour. And then it ended up. Oh, what my God. Shining? When it catches the light, it looks like it's made from it's... metal. Yeah, they're super pigmented, super shiny, and they're not flammable. So you can actually light the candle. And there's no issue with it. So I really like that idea of painting candles. Yeah. Hence my um, thought. I do have glitter on it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm glitter everywhere. I'm not sure if that's um, suitable. But for burning burn. purposes, glitter should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my plan today is to put these on not i'm not going to be in any particular you know style i'm just gonna put them on and um, just to get the effect of painting them or maybe just all the i got i got more than one i'm sure i can manage yes, you can have more than one when you had just that cross on it i got flashbacks from my first communion <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I've only got the Christmas colours, so yeah, uh, they do a nice um, silver, pink. And, okay, I'm um, fiddling with my mic. I don't get anything. I'm not sure what the other one is, that but anyway, is this is my plan. How to so it. I've never done this before. Move my my phone. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, I'm moving your phone. 
So these are on the website, the, the bullets and crosses. They're really beautiful. They're very, uh, what do we call it? Intricate, I couldn't think of the word then. Totally escaped me. So here you go, first one's first. I'm just going to melt it a bit. I can't see what I'm doing now. It's already melted. <laughs> it's quite cold in this room. I'm hoping that's going to make it stick. Yep, that will definitely stick. Nope. I knew I would do that. Don't play with it when it's cold. That'll teach me for playing with it. Right, it should be. Nope, still not done. Stick, stick, stick. Still warm. Until I'm not used to it. So, anyway, the. Let it all go, go. Busy. Okay, so because. Um, the surface is really slick on candles. Um, the, the candle paints go on very, very nicely. They do recommend using a very soft brush to start. And he's not sticking. So you'll stay. My hands are actually melting the wax. So, anyway, I'll just get on with painting it. Probably only one side of it. Um, I'm going to do gold. I'll do gold. Quite a thick paint. So this, uh, uh, the recommendation is to paint with a soft brush. And that has gone on very nicely. So you go on with your first coat. And then you go over it with a second coat. In um, using a a, a dauber. So that um, th when the dauber goes over it, it gives it um more of a like a stippled effect on the front. feel quite disconcerted without Olga talking in the background. <laughs> it's too quiet. There we go. I probably have to do two, you know, two sides. Uh, 
It looks lovely. Very, very shiny. I'm not sure how long it takes to dry. Of course, you can't really dry this with a heat gap, can you? So we will have to wait. I hope Olga can get back in. There you go. Okay, and I'm back. And it should be. And you're back. Good. Because. I was just saying that we got to wait for this to dry, so I'll just be talking nonsense. Uh, Why, you don't use heat gun? Why you don't use heat gun? Why you don't use heat gun? Oh my hmm. god! I remember, don't that, use heat gun. I remember <laughs> that on Iveta's class, I used heat gun. She, uh, I missed the part. I, I was, of course, late for the class, and I missed the part when she instructed us not to use one. So I thought, like, oh my god, I have a candle, and I have a heat gun. What can go wrong? <laughs> what did go wrong? <laughs> yeah. So, um, because my life is not interesting enough, so right now the the phone decided to lost connection with the built-in mic. Uh, somehow it claimed that my microphone lost the connection with the rest of the device. Anyway, it's fine. New We're microphone. So yes, new mic is on its way and it will be, I, I hope that it will be awesome. If not, that will be one of my biggest disappointments of the year. If it will not improve um, the sound. Oh, and Next to no Frankfurt, is that what you're saying? Because that's my yeah. biggest disappointment this year. No, my, my, I have a lot of them. And, you know, it depends because uh, I could do a category, you know, craft life, regular life, um, multiple social situations. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. With being me. We're alive, you Olga. We're alive. We're I, alive. I got used to uh, the fact that uh, I have to prep myself for some just disappointment. Clean my brush. Look at that. That's just oh, cleaning yeah. my brush. That is so nice and sparkly. I love so, it. Super shiny. It's a lot, a lot of mica in it. Can you use it on the paper? I mean, yes, of course you can because you just used it on uh, on the tissue. But if it's dry, is it dry permanently? Like acrylic? No, we'll find out after. Mm -hmm. I could go digging out the one I did yesterday, but we'll wait. No, no. It's better to do the, the fresh test live on oh, camera because what can go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Apparently, uh, I should turn the heater off because my glue is uh, drying before it will stick the paper. Okay, the coat on the top, the coat on the bottom, the coat on the top, and the coat on the bottom. I think we don't have any creases. Mm. All right, I've got to find my daubers. That's, that's the next plan. Okay. Daubers. Uh, you can come to stay with me instead of going to Frankfurt. It's really cold in January, though. Bella, I think that um, the temperature in UK would be similar. It will be just... Uh, dry cold for Leanne. That will be the difference for her between yeah. uh, wet cold and dry cold. People guarantee you'll be wet cold here. But we rarely you know, do dry cold. 
you know what? Uh, actually, Belinda, like always, is right. Because if you already plan that trip, then, you know, Berlin and Frankfurt are quite close to each other. If you're already coming from UK, I don't think it makes a big of a difference. And it could be fun. It could be fun. No. It could be so much fun. It could be so much fun. Even better than Frankfurt, because we can start both, you know, early in the morning. <laughs> I can't find my doorbells. I don't know what I've done with them. Of course, I've got 12 drawers that they might be in. Or they might not be in them at all. Uh, oh, they, yeah, the one very last one I looked in. I don't remember what I was looking for, but I end up with cleaning uh, all space and uh, rearranging everything because uh, I couldn't find one, one thing and it was just driving me mad. Uh, okay. Okay, I need my How long will it take to dry? Glasses. I'm so tempted. Oh, um, it's nearly dry. They're nearly dry already, that paint. Just don't, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Look for the fell. I should have brought the hair dryer up and put the cold air on it. Um, you know, I always have advice for everything. I also have one for the cold air. A tiny fan. I paid whole three euros <laughs> for that. <laughs> and it doubles up as my aircon during the summertime. Michelle wasn't sure which side we were on, but then she saw a little brush being so a brush being used that was much too small, so she knew it was you, Olga. <laughs> yeah, let's look at them. Oh, wrong way. Still wet. Ah. Oh, my God, Michelle. It was one <laughs> time when I had a small brush. It's my favorite brush for the application of the rice paper. All the bigger ones are way too big because I have those regular ones or, uh, uh, you know, brushes like that. And that one is way too big. And it's natural bristles. So I don't think I would use it for <laughs> gluing the paper. <laughs> hey, Sam. Ooh, is that Samantha? Yes, it that's is. Samantha. Hello, lovelies. I think she's talking to you, Olga. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to, to, you know, quietly sniff around and see uh, what she will say next, and then we will figure it out who is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So Michelle says she's not saying you wrong. <laughs> yeah. You know, that small brush complex will never... Let me go. It's like David with those two butterflies. I will never be forgiven for that. Okay. Okay. So, so. while I'm waiting for that to dry, what are you going to talk your way through that, or shall I? Uh, I will just. I will just do? say uh, what I will uh, what I will do, and I will start to do that, and it will take me ages. So then I can be a small screen. So I have those gauges on the rice paper. And they are almost uh, perfect uh, to create the frame on my... Um, that's the Christmas ornament. It's not a ball. It's like a flat oh. ball. I don't know how to, to call that shape. In, in the shop that I'm buying them from, it's called medallion. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm fine to me. Down yeah. Mention. So, uh, that beautiful paper in the back inspired me to create 
kind of um, you have them on the shapes uh, and usually they have three different things like barometer compass and something else so the plan is to place those bad a, boys they call the thing that plot stars plot mm -hmm. stars i can't remember what it's called it might be uh you know obviously it's uh it will be a, a fake one but it will look quite awesome i think if i will put them on top um uh, with some elements rise up with the uh, doubling and tripling the paper. So I will fussy cut it and stick on another sheet of paper, fussy cut it again. So then the paper will get built up quite nice. Um, I really like that effect uh, and it always looks super neat. And to make it even more fun, I also have those bigger gauges that I will use to, to add some elements and uh, I have no idea what will be the next step because this one will take me ages and uh, yeah <laughs> I didn't thought about the next one yet <laughs> wait if mm. I will do it like that yeah now it's fine it is drying quite nicely still a little bit wet so I'll just let people know what's um, new on the website it's some more stamperia stuff um we've got the tree of life stencil um some more climped extra forte glue we've actually got the stamp stamperia primer the arctic snow and the white transparent and silver crackle pastes mm -hmm. so there we go I like that transparent paste. Uh, I started my crackle paste adventure with Stamperia. I think that uh, back then uh, only light gold was available and it was awesome. And then I saw clear one at Bella's uh, when she was doing something and I was like, ah, oh, I need it. And Arctic Snow, oh my God, that's an awesome product. Okay, wait, I will show you how it looks. Uh, it's Arctic snow covered with glitter. Mm, that's a really cool product. Wait, let's let's split it half half. So on the top of my house, of course, camera shows shit. It's just so gorgeous. Okay, Ooh. you can see it. those are. Mm, you can see on the snow a separation, and the top layer looks like. Um, it's icy, uh, fresh snow. That's uh, exactly that product. Just sprinkled with glitter. It's so, so gorgeous. Um, really like it. Because it's sparkle. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What do you have I from... the project uh, is as well. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have from Klimt? Um... I would show it, but the for some reason the um, pictures are not showing. So I got the A4 mold, uh, the Klimt canvas, the Klimt masterpieces. I've also got the Alchemy numbers mold. The mold? Really oh, good. I can. Uh, I have it cast it. Wait, is it here? No, it will be the other cup. Yes. So I casted only the, the numbers because I was doing the Christmas project and I needed 25. So I casted numbers only and they look fabulous. And by the way, on the mold, uh, one number is missing. I think that big zero is missing <laughs> with, uh, with the middle part. When you have all the numbers, it looks super cool. Mm, wait, I will do it on my hand. So two and five, okay, and in frame, two and five. And I also have this part. So it's super cool. I love Alchemy oh, they're very collection. Pretty. Yes, they are. And the stencils from Alchemy. Oh my, oh my God, I'm in love. I missed it when it first came out. I wasn't uh, aware 
of collection like that. Um, so I missed it. And I'm super happy that they brought it back because it's so mean. Olga, yeah. stop waffling and get... Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, the pressure is on. Mm, I need a fresh blade. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so for some reason, some of my images are missing, so they probably missed a link somewhere. Uh, maybe it's a sync with the server and it will fix itself? Well, one would hope so. Because uh, when I googled, uh, I googled, when I did a research for Lady B Lifestyle, I saw the images just fine. Yeah, just the Klimt ones seem to be missing. Maybe it's cursed. Could be. Well, I'll sort it by the end of the night anyway. Um, it, it will happen on some point. And, you know, blindly shop, blind shopping also has some um, advantages. It's like surprising yourself. Okay. <laughs> There is no way that I will blade cut it on the camera, so I will lose the middle frame because I need the opening for my scissors. Yeah, okay. Now with this one. Okay. Shall I go and get the molds while I'm waiting for this candle to dry? That'd be easier. Yeah, that would be easier because you can show them in the real life and in the meantime I can focus on not cutting off my finger or something like that because I might need it tomorrow or day after. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. And blade. Nice and steady. Okay, so now I have a flashback to a couple of days ago when I found the metal curved ruler on Amazon and I thought like, oh my God, that would be so awesome to cut out the circles with the knife. And then I was like, nah, I don't need it. I don't do plastic cutting anyway. And here we are. Here we are. Okay, this this one I will pick this part okay basically i need to um cut off all the um, all the gauges i will deassemble them for parts but first we have to fasten it okay where are my scissors okay. here they are fingers are much overrated mm. Yeah, you know, we, we have 10 of them. So losing one would be not such uh, a bad thing. But still, uh, you know, I'm kind of attached. They they are with me for forever. So I think it would feel weird not having one of them. Okay. I either will be in frame or I will do a decent job with the plastic. <laughs> I came up with a lot more stuff than just uh, the molds. Okay. Ooh, nice pattern on the other side. Sorry about the rustling. No worries, I can sing a song or something like that. Or tell the story about piggy pudding. This <laughs> piggy pudding. <laughs> oh, I love this one. I have it molded. I have it molded. Um, yeah. Oh. So this is the one that um, from Belinda's collection, Lady Vagabond. I have it here in Turquoise. <laughs> That one's in. I love that mold. 
it's perfect. I put it in all my Christmas projects, and uh, I will carry uh, carry on using it all Christmas season as well. Very versatile, and uh, Bella did an amazing job with presentation of those notes because she showed how to do any and outy. Oh, that have to be clean. Yeah, yeah. So it says being original makes you unique. The critic of an artist must be oneself. Ooh, I like the texture on that. Ooh. I like the sentiments. I don't get the eggs in the middle, uh, especially the one with the squeal. But I'm, I'm, I'm too much spoiled, I think, and too fussy with the uh, with my paper choices. Oh, so. I make some great dragon scales off that one. Yeah, the, the round ones are fine, but explain me why there is an egg with those swales. It has nothing in common with flames. Who knows? I can't like them. Oh, that uh, deco swale is nice, honey. Anyway. Definitely. What does it say? The valuable and simple in life makes you create art. So there we go. It's art, Olga. <laughs> That's why I don't understand it. <laughs> but the sentiments are very deep. I have to. I have to admit that I like my sentiments to be easy. You know, like shit happens. <laughs> Indeed. There we go. That's the Klimt one. I need some paint or something. Yeah, because, um, and this time around, it's hard to see the image uh, in the mold because uh, uh, there is a lot of faces. I had the same issue with Lady V. Uh, when you look at the mold, it looks like um, she's not the prettiest lady ever. But then when you cast it and paint it, she looks just fine. And I, I, I would say that fabulous even yes i see what you mean because in she the mold it, yeah because um you know remember that you have all that thickness those are very tiny faces with a lot of detail and all that thickness of the mold uh makes the, the image a little bit disfigured so i would go with the um, picture um the stamperia uh, provides with the mold to have the idea how it looks because uh, from looking on the mold itself mm, it's hard to get what is on that but those flint ones uh, are, are nice yeah seeing them different. close up you can see you know a, a, the light will shine but they are quite pretty and you know sometimes you get molds and the faces look a bit odd they are quite pretty when you Patch them right. So you can see there how pretty the face is. Yes, right. Michelle. I think that's still hey, uh, my favorite one would be the, the one with the boob on the bottom. The one that is laying <laughs> flat. <laughs> yes, I wonder why. Hi, Jill. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, um, oh, uh, okay. Uh, can I explain something? Because then I will forget. Because uh, Jill attended my Polish life uh, and we were diluting uh, a paint that dried up a little bit and it was chalk. And Jill said that I should use a uh, liquid medium. And yes, that's true, but I would use varnish for chalk because regular acrylic, when you mix it, into the chalk because uh, my paint was quite thick and I needed a lot. It can change the um, properties of the paint. So you have to really be careful when you're mixing stuff. You know, acrylic with acrylic, chalk with chalk. And I have the medium for chalks. I just didn't think about it. And I add water and it did work. Yes, those are numbers. And you can see that They're the big numbers. zero is missing. They are yeah. all numbers except big zero. You could always use something else for a zero 
you know? Uh, there is a zero on the middle section when you have all the numbers. There is zero, yeah. Yeah. And from this one, uh, there is a, a moon with a very pretty face. Um, oh no, it's Lady Ebo, so I don't have the moon here. But there is a moon with a pretty face. Um, there you go. That is a pretty one. Really, Bob? The light is catching it wrong, but there you go. I think that's it. You can see the face. Is it a good the moment to disclose that I'm not a fan of Klimt <laughs> collection? Uh, I'm also not a biggest fan of all uh, his work. I like some of them. I much more prefer Muha over Klim. And I think that uh, it's a missed opportunity for uh, Stamperia to come up with some uh, foiling products or chrome pay paint or something like that, something to, to add like real gold to the project. Yeah. So that well, if they got that, there is um, do have gilding flakes on um yeah, on the website, uh, and I've okay. just added. Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, but the foiling, um, it okay. it has uh, advantages and disadvantages. Ooh, what's that? Uh, Cosmic I... shimmer flake and glitter glue. Okay, and uh, can you tell me what is the consistency of that particular one? Is it very fluid or a little bit thicker? Um, you didn't it dries, clear, tacky finish and remains tacky until used. Dries Ooh. completely clear. Excellent bonding properties, perfect with foils, glitter, paper card and many. Oh. Mm. And do you have gold flakes on your website? Yes, there's flakes okay. on there. So it'll work quite well with the gold, with the Klimt. So right, I two. can show off something in the topic. So I did it with the... Um, you want to make yourself... Gold, gold uh, foil, and it's Lady V Mold. Okay. It's Lady V Mold... Uh, in the uh, dust clay with the uh, gold foil on top and a little bit of shiny decoupage that still needs to be sanded and painted on 10,000 times. But yeah, I think it is so fabulous that texture from, uh, from the collection, I'm in love. I'm in love and it looks so beautiful no matter what you will do to it it picks up all the detail and you can use any and outy uh, that's how Bella described it uh, and to, oh my god it looks so fab yeah so I think that the, the Queen collection could be replaced with more steampunk more schools <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I have got some more glitters on the website. But they're quite chunky glitter. Oh this one's really oh, nice. It's got a, little bits of pink and purple in it, in the turquoise. Oh. Can you see? Yes. Yes, that's the only thing that I can see. That's the thing that I will be dreaming about today. <laughs> <laughs> so what color is this? This is the very fine black. Ooh, I like it as well. Glitter, yeah, yeah we take. So polished silk glitter. There we go. That Hello. means it will be uh, that super, super fine one looking uh, like... Sparkle with I the last some... one, it's 
It's like the fairy potters. Some different colours in that, like the turquoise one. This one is... Uh, what colour is this? Marshmallow. Because I think it's uh, pink and green. Yes. Pinks, greens, golds and silver. Oh, wow. Gold and silver. Whatever marshmallows come in. <laughs> Either I don't know what marshmallow oh. is or ours is. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. I don't care mm -hmm. that there is green. It's sparkly. Mm -hmm. And they they big bigger chunks, so they go lovely in um in the resin. We've got resin you know, on there. You know what would look lovely if you put that gilding glue on something and then uh over pour that glitter and uh work it in with the brush that will look just make sure <laughs> my phone is plugged in or else you're gonna lose me. No worries, I have you on the other device. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think this one is um, a little greener with... Um, this one is more festive. It looks like a dark red, red, and it's actually hexagons mm -hmm. and rounds in that one. Nope, not any marshmallows I've seen either, but still. Uh, that one was Dazzle Berry. There we are. So it's a berry colour. Yeah, the green for the leaf. It would, it would be. By the way, you know, I should come with the announcement that for the December, I suspend green hating officially. <laughs> right. So this is from Art Glitter. Mm. This is Pink Azalea. What is It's a plant and a pretty flower. It's very much, well, I would say an azalea is that colour. There we go. And, of course, this one's for Karen. I wonder what colour that is. Is this purple? It's probably the same colour as my hair. Oh my god, but it's such a nice glitter. It has such a nice uh, sparkle and sheen to it because not all glitter are made the same. If you would be a glitter lover, then you would know that some of them look like... Yeah, mm. so this one's quite a big pop, actually. I think I'll ask if there's... A big pop and I can lie. <laughs> they match my yeah. big brushes. Yeah, I've also got it in the okay, orange, which is the it old looks, gold, actually. It looks like um, brass slash copper. Yeah, yeah, old gold, it says. So it's not that Christmas gold, it's more What do you mean orange. by the Christmas gold? All the golds are Christmas gold. No, this has got it, it definitely... Uh, an orange tint to it. Yeah. I would call it Russian gold. At least that, that's how it's called in Poland when you're well, I've been glitter bombed. Woohoo! <laughs> you mentioned that you are sending uh, that you were sending the parcel to Penny some time ago. Why you didn't put that bag into that parcel? You know that I would pay you for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> It's all fallen out. Anyway, there's a shame that ends up in my pot. So it's a very nice colour. It's a very nice, it's a very nice happy accident. You know, just put some varnish on top and here you go. A really nice piece. <laughs> and oh, uh, so Karen approves the purple. I'm just letting you know, in case that anyone were in come. doubt. More purple to come. That's good. That's good. One cannot have too much. So purple. this one is called Pink Fizz. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 
Oh. It's really nice. It's I like really like red, the blue, and silver. I really oh, like the color pink. combo. It's like pink, blue, silver. Really, uh, it will look really nice with Stamperia Pink Christmas collection, by the way. That everyone hates them, and I think it's quite decent. Yeah. Hmm. Minus creepy kids. This one's Violet Dream. Ooh, I will put it aside because I know what. <gasps> come on. Oh, come on. It's not fair. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's so nice. I like that one. So I think it. there's blue, pink, and silver in there. Or oh, berry color. It depends uh, when where your definition of pink ends and definition of purple starts. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, then we got the turquoise. At least I think it's turquoise. Glistening sea. Oh, it looks blue. Yeah. But, Turquoise uh, is really hard to pick up. Trust me, that one the, is uh, I love the reflection on it. It's very sparkly. Yeah, so I've got this one. This one is Tropical Tide. This one, this one is more turquoise than the previous one. Oh, yeah, and it's also with that extra sparkle. Oh, they God. are like a larger chunk glitter. Almost like little round things. Very sparkly. Anything and it's biodegradable sparkly. glitter as well, which I really so, like. Uh, so I could eat it, yes. No, yes, mm. no. Yeah, I know that biodegradable doesn't mean that it's eatable and you should eat it. But still, uh, I think that during my life, I I, I ate a decent amount of glitter. Because mm. I use it a lot, and it's everywhere in the air. So I've just realized that this is actually my second favorite glitter of all time. I mean, really? this is nigh on 20 years I've been card making and stuff. So this is the orange and I use this one as much as I do the blue. And I haven't got the blue. I'm going to have to get that one. Okay, now I need explanation. How come you can like both green and orange? Because those colors clash and give you the, the most it. ugliest brown on the planet. Well, you don't mix them. <laughs> that would actually look very nice on my head. So that's nearly dry. I can nearly crack on with that one. That one's called Juicy Fruit. Mm. And then I've got... Sounds juicy. <laughs> <laughs> juicy Fruit. This one is the brown. I could be brown, I could be blue. Brown glitter. Be oh, it's sealed. Time. We're not opening that. Then just show the sides. Uh, can you show the lid again? Yeah. Oh, okay. So wait, I will show you how it looks. I, I'll try I have this okay. one. I think I have this this one. I think Karen's gonna like the next one. Very pretty. Oh my god, I left you for a second and I'm coming back to this one. How many purples did I miss? I was in FOMO. This one's beautiful. Berry Bling is called. Yes, it's beautiful. I'm pretty sure that I had the chocolate brown, but I don't see it in my third glitters. Oh my god, does it mean that I used it all? 
Um, my next one is this is the plain turquoise, and yet again, it looks blue on my camera. But I think Trust me, it's a beautiful turquoise. Yeah, and it is like color. fine glitter and little circles that are bigger as well. It's just fine and coarse all in together. Brilliant. Did you find it all, Gareth? Okay, I'm not giving up. I'm pretty sure that I have it somewhere. This one's the brass. Which is like um, more of a yellow gold. Sparkle, yes, I take. Yes, please. And then I've got frosted sparkles. So it's the si similar one to the the purple and the turquoise that I just showed. Okay, uh, does it have any? Um iridescent to to itself or is it just um just white with sparkle just white look oh my god it's beautiful okay i have the brown one you found it um, i I know that it's the same one, and Leanne's phone is dying, I think. My phone is dying. It's fine. No, it's fine. You, you got pixelated. So here you have that brown one. Oh, yeah. I think that I smashed the jaw, because I don't like those jaws. Um, those are jaws like this one. You know, when... Uh, and I, I have a hammer hand. So I think that I smashed the the thing and I deported uh, it in the very nice makeup jar. But I really like it. It's nice chocolatey bread. So this one is called Icicle Sparkles. Ooh, Are they more a big mica? They more strands. which is, I think it's called like that confetti, you know, the sprinkles that you have on Christmas, uh, Christmas cake, on cakes. The pink, the blue, the green, the yellow. Okay. Really it's, like... So it's holographic, basically. If it goes through whole rainbow, then it's yeah, holographic. Hello. hello. It looks like somebody sit down and shattered a ton of uh, Christmas uh, tinsel. <laughs> yeah. I actually see yeah. people in the cosmic shimmers, you know, with the scissors like. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> that and is clever. The last have... one of the glittery things. <gasps> oh my God. I love it. Yeah, so these are silver. Sam, it's rainbow. Sam, it's rainbow. The it means you have to have it. I think Olga uh, missed the berry blink. Mm. No, no, I uh, I came <laughs> when when she was showing the berry blink. It's got to be my favorite as well. That berry blink. So that's it. The glitters. You cannot have too much glitter. Right now with the glitter, I'm I'm sitting on one big drawer and one um uh, accessory thing that I got from Belinda, you know, it's like the toolbox. Men have them for the tools, uh, and I have mine, I will show it off. <laughs> yeah. And of course it's a purple uh, glitter. But when you open it up, it have a drawer, and I have, I have it fully loaded, and we also have the full drawer. But I still keep purchasing them because. Anyways, <laughs> is it dry already? 
Yeah. You know what he could do? While it was drying, he could paint all the other elements with the paint and let them dry and try to bend them when they are painted. Yeah. I could have. Oh, well. I'll try to mold and then show in beautiful sparklies. Yes, that's true. That time right, was so... way <clears throat> Yeah, so what they say on the second um, the second coat is to use a dabber because it gives a lovely look at that. Oh my god, it's so beautiful and it's sparkly. Yeah, so and that's what they say. The the actual dabbing. Um, gives it the best shimmer. Probably it would. And uh, you can also try to dab it with that um, sponge that you used to uh, put the makeup on, you know, like very fine sponge. So, uh, one of oh, them. Yeah, some, yeah, something like that. Will it also give a nice? Yes. Yep. Yes. Me like it. Me like it. So while it's wet, they they say you can add um, glitter. Um, yeah. Although what happened yesterday, I feel when I put the glitter on. It lost a bit of its of the best shimmer. You know what? He can try to sprinkle glitter on the wet paint and then go with the dabber again on top. So, um, because the paint is not completely uh, opaque, so uh, the glitter sparkle will show through, but he will bring back also uh, the paint sparkle. Yeah, so actually the glitter, I can I can just brush it off because I I didn't really like it because what the did, the, the actual paint is so shimmery that you don't need glitter. It is really really shimmery. Something is wrong with your mic because I heard that you said you don't need glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the glitter. It's it was a white glitter. I think maybe if I'd used um, you don't have green, the green glitter, or green or gold, if I'd used a different color, I think I would have been happier. I definitely have that green glitter in couple shades. Uh, though I use green very, very rarely, I still uh, have glitter in that shade. If you use the white one, then I'm not surprised you didn't like it. Uh, Jill, always room for a sparkle. The dubbing looks fabulous, says Belinda. And Jill said, we are as bad as each other, but I can pass <laughs> on the glitters. I only use them at Christmas. <gasps> yeah, I'm, I'm not, um, not that much of a glitter family. I did when I was using, you know, making cards. I used them quite a lot. I just love glitter. I struggle with using it on the uh, actual project, especially if I go in the darker vibe. But I use glitter in everyday life. You know, everything <laughs> I, I have, uh, it's sparkly or glittery. Yes, I take. I love glitter and unicorns. Oh, my God. It sounds like that advent. Olga is a young lady living in Berlin. She loves cats, glitter, and unicorns. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, like the blind blind dates on telly <laughs> when you asked it, when, when there was somebody who asked the questions and there mm. were... She likes pina coladas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's tickled me. <laughs> I'm going to be giggling forever on that. 
Yeah, I that's love, true. I love that gold shimmer. If you use different colors, can you blend them in between each other? Yes, I believe so. I might try that now and do it down the bottom. Yeah, try with green because if you have the, the candle with the cross and you will use red and it will come out really, really red, then it's not Christmas, it's Easter. No, that won't be nice, will it? Yeah. I have done the top Olga's, um, Olga's, uh, Maggie? What is Maggie? Uh, Magpie. Oh, okay. You're a magpie. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Sorry, Sam. A little, a tiny letter. In the screen far, far away, because I changed the setup today. Hmm. Oh, my God. And I, I'm i sitting here, and I'm fussy cutting. I did fussy cut uh, three of the bigger gauges for the first time, because I'm sure that I will have to do some more fussy cutting, but... The first layer is the hardest to do because it has to be the most accurate and then you can just go around and you have the border. To rest your scissors such. Oh my god, oh my god. Right, so I'm, I'm trying to get in, can't really turn it around to show you guys. Around. It's not really going. So I'm just going to have to get my hands really dirty and turn it round. Uh, you know thing. what? Instead of getting your hands really dirty, you can take your phone down and just uh, change the angle like that. Or we can wait a couple of minutes until it's dry. No, oh, that's yeah. fine. Okay. I'll move. Yeah. It's very nice. Oh, crikey. Mm -hmm. ah, too much in. Ah. But I loved it when it was pouring. You could see all the sparkle, you know, like pouring out. Yeah, I don't know quite that much. And go to waste. There you go. By the way, I really like how your shop is um, all in one because you are the person of 10,000 hobbies from <laughs> uh, mushroom making to uh, chocolate molding. Uh, with everything in between and I really like that uh, you know in general it's scrapbooking mixed media but you can also find a candle paint you cannot find the paper mache teacups but though but you could find them on some point <laughs> yeah if I can find them again I think that that's the trouble we all like to do different things don't we and, and not everybody does the same stuff but you know, as as long as they are connected, because for for Halloween, uh, I still didn't post the picture, but I did the cake with a Ouija board, and I definitely got inspiration from you from making chocolate. The chocolate layer was uneatable. I can eat the entire jar of Nutella without blinking with the art uh, of an eye, but I used like five bars of chocolate to make that, oh my god because uh, it have to be quite thick so you can demold it nicely and i went for two colors so the skulls were white and then you had the milk chocolate it was so sweet i was taking it off from my pieces of cake eric ate it all so nothing went to waste <laughs> um but yeah, but it came out really nice, though I spent like half of the day on cleaning my mold to make sure that I don't have any resin residue. So first I soaked it in alcohol, then I brushed it, then I brushed it again, washed it, brushed it, washed it. And uh, yeah, but it came out really nice. We can't really see. Because it's turned it blue. 
we can it's it's called blending if you would go back and forward with those two colors you know gold and green it will nicely blend yeah so they are blendable that that's good to know yeah that's good to know talking about liking uh or stuff i uh today with the stashing i found that i have a metal clay uh, in my stash, I completely forgot about the moment in my life when I really wanted to make jewelry. Um, so I I purchased, I don't have the um, oven because uh, it's like ceramic one, the one that heats up um, very much, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but one time in Frankfurt, I found a um, Home oven friendly metal clay. That means you, you, you know, you use it like a clay. You just uh, cold something, and then he can uh, use your oven. And um, um, oh my God, that thing that you use to make a creme creme brulee. It's a, it's not a flame. What's the English name? Not sure. Uh, oh my god it's a small device and you make and instead of the flame it's it's like very very hot uh blowtorch yeah exactly blow torch. so you you can just use your oven and torch it and it should turn into metal so i'm quite excited because as soon as christmas season is over i will experiment with that that dubbing looks fabulous yes it does blowtorch yes torch Thank you. Oh my God, I love your uh, index finger. Is that index finger? Uh, yeah. <laughs> golden finger. Gold thumb. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I can turn this round. Turn around every now and then. Something goes something. You can see it. You can blend it a little in. With a stick I think. Uh, I think that the blending. Uh, if you would have like half of the uh, sponge covered with gold, half with the green, and you would start blending since the first layer, it will look. Oh my God! On that cross, it looks fab. By the way, that cross is just amazing i have that set and there is so much detail on that floor i think that looks lovely i like it so my favorite uh cross from that mold is that middle one the one that uh probably was the filigree wax. one yeah i did manage to get that one out older with wax oh it's not playing yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. that one anyway yeah yeah i really like that mold um i didn't use it on halloween so now i will have to i mean i don't have to wait long i think that three weeks from now there is a polish catholic celebration i can use as many crosses as i want let me just play now With a little bit of red because there's a heart there. There's a heart. I managed to get the bullets, the hearts. As I said, yeah. I haven't got the hearts in yet. Do you want to put hearts, bullets, and cross on the one work? So it's that like, because then what's the message behind it? Because I really want to hear that story. I'm I'm here <laughs> for that story. Okay, so it's time to double. Okay, so the red's got a silver um, mica. A silver mica in it, yes. But I think if you dab it on top, then it will turn more reddish. Yeah, I might so be the, wrong, but I don't. Yeah, but they recommend to brush on first of all and then dab on the second layer. So that's what okay. we will do. You have uh, more than one heart? 
More than one. Hard. Hard. Yeah, I got little ones. So on the other one, you can try the opposite. First dab it, then brush it. Because I'm uh, wondering what's the difference. By the way, extra water glue. I think that uh, Nuneka should have a commission on sales of that glue. Because that's, uh, that's why I tried it first. She was, she was swearing by that glue. Right. So the dab in is not going to get into all the grooves. So you can see the silver in it. It's probably uh, not dabbing hard enough. Dab hard and then brush on. Maybe it will be a new technique. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Just give it a try. Okay. That's how Belinda is coming up with all those amazing ideas. She's just like, hmm, how about something? And then she does it. I don't know how many of them end up with the fail because I would assume that she would share only the successful one. <laughs> okay. So um, on those little pieces of paper, I'm doubling okay. and tripling my paper. So the pieces should. So the pieces become a visibly thicker. I know that on the picture, probably there is no difference at all. But in the real life, when you watch the artwork, like artwork should be watched with your hands, you can feel the difference. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. And craft, nobody said that craft cannot be a sensory uh, experience. So. In case that the whole uh, our teaching will not work out, then I will become some kind of crazy hippie lady that teaches kids in those uh, preschools. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just feel the pain. Just cover your body with pain and see where it takes you. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, I love your hand now. <laughs> Where Which I your messy hand and... <laughs> How about applying a first layer with one color and the second coat with the other one? Hmm? We've done that. Oh yeah, on the, on the cross. <laughs> But now how it will look with red, as red have the uh, silver sparkle. I was, oh, uh, I knew it break. I was, uh, I was diving in my glitters when you were talking about green, so I didn't hear what kind of sparkle it has. Okay. Oh my god. But that explains why I'm always very last minute with my inspiration. Because all of them, um, most of my artworks uh, contains like five to six layers of paper stuck together and then fatty cut it. So it doesn't make any visual difference on the picture. <laughs> oh my god, I was singing that song for a whole day. I can sing only myself. <laughs> Where's your head at? That one. Where's your head at? Yeah, exactly. This one. Oh my god, I will add it to the playlist. Tomorrow. Mine's gone away with the fairies. All right. Away I'm with the gonna... fairies? Yeah. Olga has officially lost the plot. What do you mean? I mean, um, on 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 what point we figure it out that it's official now? Because um, yes, it is official. But I don't think we met when it became 
officials. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, yeah, so all the stripes with those um, really beautiful screws, and the plan is to put a glossy accent, or a... oh my god, I don't remember how it's called, the glossy accent equivalent in Stamperia, I, I'm not sure if it's like a crystal sparkle, crystal drops, hmm, anyway, I'm planning to put it on the screws, so they will be also dimensional when you are touching them with your finger. Okay, so the big ones are done. Now time for the little ones. I hope that I use a uh, stone paper underneath. So uh, I hope, because I'm not sure I took it off the package and stone paper feels exactly like uh, my watercolor paper okay it's not my it's my watercolor paper that feels like stone paper so um yeah i hope that they will bend nicely on the um on the glass because uh, i mean on the plexi it would work with the orbs as well but i'm afraid that it would stretch it too much that's why i went with the smaller angle of the band here because it's easier to adjust the paper and hopefully we are using a stone paper so hopefully it will work just nice and I just knocked everything over okay. so to not get uh, too much in my hand those are pieces that I want to use and rest I can put aside. I will not toss it away because you never know when you will need a piece of metal printed paper and that's collection. Okay, so paper. now um, just hmm? to uh, the piece of resistance from these paints is it, it's actually okay. They are not flammable. So I've lost my lighter now. I'm will you will you out. burn that okay before you will before you will make that step uh, did you put me in your will <laughs> you you can have my candle paint you can have all my cadence how's that yes i will take it i also want that uh drawer that you keep your metal junk in the one that oh. you send me some yeah. <laughs> My me metal treasure chest. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now the, the, the candle. We are the world. We <laughs> are the children. <laughs> like, seriously, that, that cross in the middle, because uh, I don't know how you do it in UK. In Poland, uh, on some point, you go to the first communion, and then you have to have that huge candle. It even have a name. I don't know how you call it in English. And it's a big, thick candle that you should use for your entire life to, to light it in the special moments. And it's white, big candle with the cross in the middle. Oh, it's didn't so nice. oh didn't we have Inception. The screen and the screen and the screen and the screen. Put your uh, hand behind the candle. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so nice. It work it. I'm just, I'm just put a hole in it. No, I haven't. I've got to put a hole in it then. So there we go. Well done. Okay, now we will wait for a second until it will actually have a chance to uh, burn through a little bit. But still, you can put that that info about me in Harry taking some some of the stuff from from the craft room. In case something happened to you, I can also take a cat. If there will be a need for oh, somebody, that'll, that'll to... be a big custody case with that with Andrew. That would I'm the cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I would not uh, I would not kidnap the cat, but in case that uh, there will be a need, then uh, he can put me as the backup cat parent. <laughs> Um, are you touching that with your finger right now when it's burning and it burns, oh, there, burns, there's burns. a little mark there that's all I'm not touching the flame <laughs> just playing you could. Playing. You can see you could. now we now we will make a challenge who can hold the hand over the flame the longest oh not me I'm a wimp mm. <laughs> I will take that challenge and I will win it, but somebody have to give a decent price for that. <laughs> yeah. How far have you got, Olga? Ooh, I fancy cut all the big gauges and I sloppy cut all the smaller ones and I watched all the glitters that you showed as well. <laughs> well done, you. Well done. But it will take me a while. So, when I will finish the, the work, I will definitely uh, send over a pic. Because um, I'm pretty sure that I have to finish it all tomorrow. Um, or the day after. Or maybe I missed my day in the calendar. And um, But no, I think if I would miss my day, I would wake up to a message from Lady V with the question about the artwork. <laughs> So, yeah. I wish the camera would show what I can see because it looks a lot, a lot prettier, especially the green. But you know what? It's, it's kind impossible. Of blue. It's impossible to show uh, the sparkle in the camera. Um, you can do a research how to do it because you need the um, uh, the side light. Like right now, if you look at my screen, uh, you have that interference going on the screen a little bit can you see that the mm -hmm. yeah if i will remove that's not a, a professional way because i put just a, a, a you know like a butter bag on it <laughs> to diffuse the light but it's actually the light that i bought to catch all the shimmer in the um, uh, I think that it was the paste with the flakes that I was using. And yeah, the paste looks awesome. Everything else looks like uh, crap. And it makes those stupid, cheeky. And I don't know if you can see. But it has actually started melting some of the paint. Uh, you're showing us the edge, not the... Oh, yeah. You can see in there it's already started melting. By the way, is it the way that you always kill the candle? What? Like, because if you yeah. squeeze it between your fingers, you don't have that smoke at the end. The smell. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the smell. I will have to send you a TikTok about how to kill the candle. <laughs> Sam is laughing. I don't know on what which point she started to laugh, but she is laughing. And I probably all the way I, through Olga. I'm pretty sure that uh, <laughs> she's laughing on me. But oh well, if it makes her happy, then I will be fine. Indeed, I think we better let people go to bed. Yes, I yes. will still sit here and fuzzy cat stuff till midnight. And at midnight, I will go to my real job and finish off some stuff because we are racing the time here in that household all the time. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining. Yeah, and it was fun. I, yeah. So, I anybody who watches the video, if they can go to the website, um, if you use the code Lee. LWE10, um, you can get 10% off and you can use that as many times as you want. Um, I will put the link to the shop in my description box. 
I think I, I think it's in mine anyway, so it might have gone through to yours. Uh, if you put it in, in the description and just attach the rest, then it should be there. If not, then I will go back and add it. Uh, Samantha that's what had I was a blast. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. Bye bye. See you, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. It was great to see you. I'm missing you. Hug. We need to do a hop. We need to do yeah. a hop. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a crafty session this week. I, I mean, I don't know what day. Maybe Friday would be fine. Uh, you know, like the evening with the card making, because I need a couple more Christmas cards. Oh. I need loads more. I haven't even started. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, for, for me, card making is craft in itself it have to be 10,000 layers and stuff like that and ah uh, I can't oh I have something what? cute to show at the end and you I was gonna say it. while we're still a lot um on the live um Belinda's class on Saturday if anybody wants to join doesn't matter where you are in the world you can still go to Mad Arches and book the class you can buy your um kit from anywhere in your country that do stamperia there you go yeah or you can use something else and just uh uh you oh, know uh, enjoy the te techniques okay so i'm showing off my latest creation it's a num and uh i also have the snowman i'm super proud of myself because uh, they would look awesome on the mushrooms that I did on Leanne's classes. And they are so tiny. Like, uh, okay, that's my, uh, that's my pointy finger. And the norm is on the side, in the size of my fingernail. So, uh, yeah. I think, okay, come on, focus. Yay! And the gnome have the fuzzy beard and all of that. Gnome is the, the one of his kind. I will not make more. It was pain in the butt to paint him. But I will definitely continue with snowman. And it's all your fault. You turned me back to the clay, evil woman. <laughs> oh, by the way, are you planning another class with the mushroom? Um, Maybe not this year. Definitely next year. And maybe I might not do mushrooms. I may do something else. Yeah, but uh, you know, Ooh. mushrooms. Mushrooms are always on top. That's the one that I did on your class, and I combined all the techniques of the painting that he taught us. I used them all on that mushroom, and I think that uh, where is he? Oh yeah, look, he will be perfect. Just oh. on top of his mushroom. Now I need oh. to make a tiny Christmas tree. Oh, shoot. Okay. If anyone knows where I can buy extra hours to my day, then please let me know in the comment section. <laughs> okay. I can turn us off. Do we have some kind of ending? No. Oh, my God. I will put it on the list. Do I have any... Good night, everyone. Okay, and here.